All right, so now we're on to the part that everyone wants to see in the video. Uh, I'm gonna actually open up the uh, warm ear now and uh, compare it to the um, king of all keyboards here, this uh, generic default Logitech that happens to have Bluetooth capabilities. I did some research on this. I think it's about 50 bucks um, from my research. Um, they don't make this particular model anymore, but they have uh, kind of newer versions that are that are around 50 bucks. So this was this was um, around 100. It was more like uh, 80, 90, something like that. Okay, so. It it's, comes with uh, instructions. Um, it comes with the keycaps not already on it, um, which I don't like. And then uh, it's uh, it's really heavy, um, which I also don't like. It's actually heavier than this one. Um, and. Uh, Let's see here. So, okay, so now, now it's packaged up in this. Okay, so the keycaps are on it. Um, I don't know why there's another set of keycaps. Um, uh, there's also there's also uh, another box in here um, of a, I think this, this is uh, if you want to cable it up, probably. Okay, yeah, so if you want to cable it up, um, then, then that's good. The cord is not braided, thankfully, because that would probably cost extra and not do anything, which is something I'm not all about. In fact, it's the opposite of what I'm all about. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so let, let's see what it's like to actually uh, use this thing. Now, we, we notice there's, there's a lot less keys on it. There's no uh, function keys. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. That's awesome. I like that. So it's um, yeah. So so you can hear how how motivating that would be to 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 type on this. Let's let's do the uh, lazy brown fox, or, or or the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog because that's a sentence where you hit every key on the keyboard or every every um, letter key. So the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and there we go so let's do it again the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog yeah so so cool I, I've never I've never really used anything like this before and honestly I like it I like that uh, clacking in this um, the, the weight I even kind of like because it, it feels it feels Solid. It's like it's like if I were if I were to like have it in my lap as like I sometimes do. It's it's not going anywhere. Um, it's not as big as this one. Um, and let's see if I can. Okay, so we'll do the same thing on this one. I'm not messing up with my computer. We'll do the quick brown. Uh, I already made a typo there. So let's do it again. Quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So a lot of uh, the keys on this one have different actions. So it's sometimes harder to push one key than the other. So you have to push the J key harder than the K key, for example. And that is, is not good. Um, this one, uh, and I made a typo there. Oh, man, I have typo. There you go. Now you can build up momentum a lot easier with this one because every key is as easy to push as, as the last one. So honestly, for for the price, um, because as I said, the internet has an unhealthy obsession with with these kinds of keyboards, um, and this was under a hundred dollars. You can spend um, easily five hundred, probably even a thousand dollars just on a clackety keyboard that's color, that, that has uh, a color scheme, because the internet is insane. Um, but uh, the channel, and I'll link the channel where I, where I kind of, uh, where I discovered this from, 
Um, and then I'm sure uh, people have heard of Ali Abdul. He created his own keyboard like this, um, and it just got split to, it just got ripped to shreds by this other channel. And in, in the video ripping into shreds, he said, one of the reasons he didn't like Ali Abdul's keyboard is because of the price of it. And uh, for a much less price, you can get something that's way better than what he was offering. And this is the thing he recommended as, as basically the best thing you can get for the price. Um, so yeah, I like it. Um, it looks like these extra keycaps um, are, are so that you can, um, you can, you can replace uh, some keys. So uh, we, can, we can replace uh, certain things. Uh, I am noticing there's a little bit of like, yeah, there's a little bit of like, um, the keycaps can like turn this way a little bit. So if you're looking at the keyboard, um, it's a little bit maddening because some are like turned uh, the other way. Um, this doesn't have that, but um, you know, you're not meant to look at the keyboard, you're meant to use it. So it's, it's, it's not gonna make a difference when you type, I don't think. So yeah, overall, um, my initial impressions of this is like, it's better than I thought it would be. Um, I thought I thought I wouldn't like a lot of things about it. I thought I wouldn't like the weight, but the weight is nice because you can have it in your lap. This kind of slides around everywhere. You know, it'll slide off that way as you're typing. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't really stick down into your lap like this one does, which is nice because it's heavier. Um, I love the sound. I mean, that, that's just wonderful. That's like an ASMR. Nice sound. Um, the price is pretty good. It's, it's more expensive than any of the other ones I, I own. Uh, I'm not sure what, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do with these keycaps because it's, uh, for example, you can make the arrow keys this color. I think it's, the only reason for the keycaps is for the colors. Um, and then another reason is for the labels. Um, for example, uh, the, uh, keys up here you can you can swap them out for f keys um or you can swap them out for uh just pure number keys um so i don't know why anyone would do that they, unless they are uh trying to make their keyboard look a certain way um i don't really care about that i just want to uh get stuff done on my keyboard so um so yeah that's it um i, I would honestly put this in the same tier tier as this maybe even a tier higher because um, yeah, there's just a lot of things I like about it. Um, I might make another video where I actually hook it up and, and start to use it, but um, I'm not gonna uh, switch over to it all at once. I'm probably gonna, over time, um, have both of them up and then uh, naturally gravitate towards this one, uh, just as kind of an evolution of my, uh, of my home office uh, uh, processes. Uh, if, if it wins out and if it doesn't win out, then I'll, I'll keep using my <laughs> S tier $50 uh, generic uh, Logitech rather than whatever the internet thinks is cool for the next 15 minutes. So um, so yeah, that's the, the end of this video. I'm really surprised with, with how much I like this. Um, it, it, it does seem to be a, a pretty good uh, investment for, for productivity because um, it, it might build that addictive uh, habit of, of really just liking typing so you, you just do it more um as kind of an evolutionary process um so uh so yeah that, that's it for uh this part of the series which is the keyboards i'll do more of these because i've got a lot to say when it comes to home offices um when, it, when you're when you're on site when you're working uh you really just got to go with with what you're given uh, a lot of the case you can bring in your own stuff but you, you know it, it's a lot harder to do that um, home office has, has such a big advantage because, you know, you're there 40 hours a week and uh, you really start to, to, it's really hard for you to ignore, um, for example, if you're having, if you're having like back pain, if you're having uh, some kind of pain or something, um, in the office, you know, you just kind of get through it because you're just trying to get through the day. Home office, it's like, well, I can do something about this. and, and um, so I think there's a lot of advantages there. So, um, so yeah, this is this is the end of this video. Uh, this video is on keyboards, um, and I'll do another video soon. That'll be um, it'll be uh, less about keyboards. Let me let me do one final thing before I for, before I uh, stop the video. I'll just clackety on this. All right, and then I'll.
out clackety on this, which will affect my, well, you know what, if I turn it off like this, then it won't affect my keyboard. So you can hear that's just a generic sound. It's not a, it's not a clackety keyboard at all. It's not meant to be. This one actually sounds pretty good. Now this one is a, a mechanical keyboard. Is that a cheaper one though? You know, very, very uh, high pitched uh, clackety sound. This one is also a mechanical keyboard. It's Bluetooth. It's uh, very, very cheap though. I don't like it. A very plasticky, non-solid sound. It sounds very cheap because it is. This is the generic keyboard that comes with most PCs. Again, doesn't sound so good. This is the kind of uh, special keyboard that's great for travel and probably a better keyboard than I give it uh, credit for. Very quiet too, which is, which is great for travel. All right, and then I'll end the video with this one more time. <laughs> so you can hear quite a totally radically different sound. Um, maybe not the best if you if you work in an office, you, a lot of people. But if you have your own private home office, that that sounds going to be fine. Um, there won't be anyone to bother. I probably won't go into the next room, hopefully. And uh, and yeah, it might help uh, build that a uh, kind of addictiveness where it's like I just like doing this. So you know, evolutionarily. Um, this uh, behavior is going to win out over other behaviors that aren't as, as addictive. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.